Let's try different kulfis in Pakistan. Kulfi number one. First up is royal kulfi, and for the record, whenever I'm traveling, every day is cheat day. It's a good crumbly texture. It's not as creamy, but it has a nice milky, sweet, and condensed flavor. And this is also almond flavor. I don't taste too much of the almond. 7.8 out of 10. Kulfi number two. Bro, you try so many kulfis. Let me give you Lahore's best kulfis, huh? Second, we have baba kulfi. Mm. Already a lot creamier, and I can taste some of the nuts on the inside. Oh, what is that? That's and, almond skin. Uh, almond skin. 8.1 out of 10. Kulfi number three. It is going to be a kind of high-end kulfi. Uh, let's go to Jalal Sun, bro. It's a different shape. It's also a different flavor. It's also not as creamy. It's called Kyoda. So, essence. Ah, it's essence. essence. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It's a good floral. I'm not too fond with that essence. It just almost takes away from that milky flavor. It's not really as classic or traditional. And again, I'm not for traditional kulfis. I don't make traditional at all. Like, I'm going crazy with the flavors too, myself. But this one, I'm just not a fan of the essence. 7.2 out of 10. Kulfi number four. Okay, bro. After a quite disappointing flavor from Jalal Sans, let me take you to Chashni. Okay, this one's really hard. I think it just needs some time to become a bit softer. This has a lot of pistachio flavor right off the bat. As it becomes softer, I do like the texture. It's a bit creamy. It's a little bit crumbly. It's better than uh, baba for sure. Oh, it's better than baba. Yeah, yeah. It's have a good flavors. I can feel koya. It's good, but I don't know if it's better than baba's. I think maybe because it's pistachio, I might just give it more than that. 8.4 out of 10. 